good. Out here, yep. the only thing that's really stable, uh, stabling the pistol is one hand. Okay. One hand. Yeah. Yeah. You know, the AR-15 rifle is one of the most popular selling rifles in America right now. and has been for a number of years. And there are so many different types of parts and accessories and different things to make your rifle, you know, even better, more tactical. Just, just anything you can think of. And that's all well and good. You can go into the range and shooting your rifle and getting your accuracy down. But these rifles were made to fight. They were made to be used in a very stressful situation. And unless you have really been trained, and unless you put that training into practice, you're really gonna be lacking if you ever need this rifle. This weekend, I went to a tactical carbine class put on by the South Carolina Gun School. And I had already been to their defensive pistol class, which was really excellent. So I'd really been looking forward to going to this class. Now, I'm very familiar with the AR-15, been shooting it for a number of years, doing a lot of different things. And I have been to other classes, had some other training, but really this weekend was just over the top. We had a great time. There were about 15 guys there, a lot of shooting, a lot of different scenarios set up. And of course, YouTube is full of information that you can get uh, about training for your rifle, about learning how to shoot, learning how to do things. Cover. But until you get out there on the range, Cover. you'll really find out what you know. There are a lot of mistakes that can happen. There are a lot of clearance drills that you need to perform efficiently and effectively. There's also a lot of gear issues. And that's one of the things, and I'm not gonna do it in this video, I'm gonna do it in an upcoming video, about the gear that I took and how it worked, what I, my thoughts about it, to, to translate that to you to be able to choose the kind of gear that you need. You know, I did make a gear up video for the AR-15 or M4 rifle. And that had everything to do with getting your gear shored up together. And one of the, that's one of the big advantages of going to a class like this. So if you got is it sets a deadline for you to get all your gear together. And then when you go out and try it, you find out if it works or not. One thing too I want to encourage you to do, which I really got to know a lot of the guys down there, but I took one of my good buddies, Day, and we had a great time driving down. And then a great time just being there, working as a team. And that's one of the things also that they teach you, is, being, is teamwork, working together muzzle discipline, keeping that muzzle pointed in the right direction, especially when you have a teammate. Contact with your team member, letting them know there you are, and working together. Going from different positions, different firing positions, working on slicing the pie or cutting the pie, and being able to get back and to be able to work a corner instead of stepping through and then being seen immediately. A lot of great things. Ron Arcega is active military right now, so he knows a lot of the cutting edge uh, urban type uh, defensive drills, and then he can show you, and which he did a lot, really showing us a lot of things that those guys are learning right there in the field. One of the things that I really learned this weekend that was really huge for me is being able to transition my rifle from my strong side to weak side, and being able to get your sling system right being able to get that dominant eye and switch it to your non-dominant eye. Being able to see, being able to keep both eyes open in all situations, which, and you'll see in some of the footage, and I'm gonna include it, that I was shooting with both eyes open uh, at many times, but a lot of times, very at the beginning, I would close one eye. And so, being able to get all that down, your trigger reset, all the things that you need to learn to be effective in case of a stressful situation. Now one thing that would really get you going is when you would slip in these dummy rounds. And they would just hand you a few dummy rounds and they'd say, okay, while you're loading your magazine, just slide one in every once in a while. And this will test how to clear your weapon and what to do when you have a malfunction. And so this was really ingenious, being able just to put these dummy rounds wherever. And it always seemed like just at the wrong time, those things would pop up. And so it really helped you on getting your gun cleared. <laughs> The dummy round. We're gonna shoot Mike. <laughs> Get your pistol. And he also gave us handgun dummy rounds as well to put in our handgun. So we did some transitions between the rifle and the handgun, Mike. and that was also a big learning experience as well because you did it under pressure.
Okay, I'm here with Michael Lau and uh, Ron Arcega, and we've been having an incredible time uh, at a, a defensive tactical carbine class. One of the things I want to do is just ask them a couple of questions about where they're going and what they're doing. This is a new range for them, so, so what are you doing down here, Mike, and, and what do you want to achieve? Uh, basically, down here, we've got the land uh, all set up. We did some grading for it now. Uh, we can offer our tactical rifle, our defensive pistols. Um, basically anything on some of the ranges we can't get on local, you know, in Greenville, and uh, it's wide, it's more wide open for us. Uh, right now we have the only range we've been utilizing is the uh, Duncan Range in uh, towards Spartanburg, and mostly we do a lot of uh, concealed weapons permit in that area. So. And in this range, uh, tactically, there's no restrictions, so we can do pretty much what we can in real life situations. And this one's located in Nichols, South Carolina, which is just a little bit from Myrtle Beach, so it's uh, probably a 30-minute drive. And it's a three-hour ride from Greenville, so you guys put a lot of miles in for us. That's right. It was well worth it. Real friendly time, very safe and secure, but yet we had a lot of fun and uh, not afraid to do some things outside of the box. We like to build from, you know, basics all the way up to by the end of the day. You've got enough information to be working in teammates and, and be comfortable with somebody you just met today. So. Get a chance. Definitely, it's important to train with your weapons. You really learn your equipment. And, of course, with the famous dummy rounds that we have to put in all of our magazines, it's just incredible training. So I want to highly encourage you to come down to the South Carolina Gun School. Uh, you can get online at scgunschool.com and check them out. What am I doing right here, and is there anybody else I need to take care of back here? So what our, our rifles are going to do is it's going to go straight up. Right, bring up. it up. Yep, bring it up. All right, in a safe direction, and I want you to rotate. Doing a 360 scan and look and see if there's anything else I need to take care of. All right. If I know I've got to make a, a right turn, I'm going to position myself. Okay. And when you're ready... Engage it. You normally want to in turn that corner low because most uh, hostile probably expect you standing up. So that quick that quick second might be the vital second you needed to uh, take him out. Got a problem. He needs to cover my butt until I've got this thing running again. Okay. And as always, thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more fun gun reviews and sensible survival. God bless America. Long, Long live, live the Republic. Republic. Woo! Suits for coming down here. Uh, we got Second Amendment gear. There was great peoples and stuff, so it's Cut. cool. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. This is all done. This is this is a casualty. You did good. <laughs> yeah, here we go, baby.